Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, President Simon, honored guest, faculty, staff, and administration, and most of all, graduate elects, welcome to the 2010 Winter Commencement Ceremony of Staatsenberger College. The ceremony's student speaker graduated from the medical assisting program with honors and is a member of the Alpha Beta Kappa Honor Society. I am pleased to introduce to you Ms. Gloria Davis. I'm truly honored to be standing before you today. After graduating from high school, I thought I had had everything figured out. I moved out on my own and decided to go to college to become a psychologist. I did okay for the first year, but attending school from 8 a.m to 2 p.m. and working from 4 p.m. to midnight, Monday through Friday, started taking a toll on me. I couldn't find enough time to study for my classes, so I decided to take a break. The credit union I was working for got robbed, and guess who was left all alone on the teller line at the time of the robbery? Me. That was one of the most life-changing experiences I had ever had. For a while, I couldn't sleep. I worried about having to testify in court and mostly would someone try to hurt me because they knew I was the only one who could identify the robber. Shortly thereafter, I chose to make a career change to become a medical assistant. When I decided to become a medical assistant, I wasn't sure what school I would attend. I was looking for a school that had small classroom sizes, various class hours, and was located not too far from home. After meeting with Amanda in admissions, I knew Stotzenberger College was the best choice for me. The staff from the executive vice president all the way down to the custodial lady was great. Every teacher that I had was willing to help out when I, I didn't understand some of the classwork. Stotzenberger really gives the necessary training and education to become a great in the working field. Once you are in the working field, remember you are still a reflection of Stotzenberger College. I say this because through the Career Service Department, I was recently employed at one of Stassenberger's extern sites, Bancroft Medical with Dr. Hudson V. Jones. Both of the employees graduated from Stassenberger some years ago. If, I had represented, if they had represented Stassenberger in a bad way, it wouldn't have opened the door for me. So when you are out working in the field, be professional at all times and a good worker because your actions may affect the opportunity of future graduates. At this time, I would like to wish my dad a happy birthday and to thank all of my family and friends for the love and support they have given me through this journey. I'm sorry. But most of all, I'd like to thank my mom and my stepdad who drove all the way from Las Vegas, Nevada to be here with me today. Even though my mom moved away the week I started attending school, she called me every day and encouraged me to each step of the way. She and my stepdad would call just to tell me how proud they were of me for going back to school and being a good mother. I don't know if they knew it or not, but the times they would call, I would really be feeling down and doubting myself. I no longer feel like a failure. I finally accomplished one of my goals. And hearing my son during school every morning ask, Mommy, are you going to school? Then ask, can he go? The school lets me know I did the right thing. Now that his dad attends Stotzenberger, he asks him the same thing now. My son loves to go to school so much he wants to go on the weekends. <laughs> I wonder how he will feel 12 years from now. <laughs> I wish each and every one of you much success in life. God bless and thank you. How come I get to follow that? <laughs> you know, every year it's the same. I have all these beautiful students that have these great stories and then 
here I come. You're stepping into a world that's a little different now than what it was even 10 years ago. Um, you have issues with security. Um, your parents worked and they thought they had a job for life and that's no longer true. So you're in a situation and you're in a kind of a new horizon type work environment and um, we hope that we prepared you the best we can to uh, be successful and I, and I truly believe that we have. Um, I hope you'll never allow others to uh, dissuade you from doing the things you really want to do. Um, don't th let them discourage you for the goals that you have, the goal that you had here and the ones you're going to have in the future. Um, what you've proven to yourself is that you can finish what you start, which is my big peeve. Um, not only in what you know as far as your career, but just building the character by doing what you're doing here right now, which is standing up in front of your families and finishing what you started. So um, I have a great deal of respect for that. And what I see here are all my roses. I love you all. Please join me in welcoming our guest speaker this evening, owner and president of Toledo Harley-Davidson and signature Harley-Davidson of Perrysburg, Tim Sherman. Um, I continue to be amazed that people would find my story worth telling, but at the same time I appreciate that my story has a lot to do with why we're all here. Uh, tonight, I'd like to ask you to consider two challenges that I would offer. They're short and they're simple, but they're probably the most difficult challenges that, that you could ever undertake. The first challenge is to commit to never abandon your dreams. The second challenge is to never sell out. In 1986, I resigned from Xerox and began working for the Harley dealer in Columbus. People thought I lost my mind. When I called my mother to tell her, she hung up on me. <laughs> Five years of college, bang. But basically, I loved it. I told people I retired at age 26, you know, and that I would never work again. Because what I realized is that what I did every day wasn't work. I didn't go to work every day. I couldn't believe they paid me to go there every day, in fact. So tonight, I hope you don't feel that I've been preaching to you, but instead that I may have offered you a challenge. Because for me, that would be inspiring. So commit to your dreams and never sell out. I wish you and your dreams good luck. Thank you. At this time, will you please move your tassels to the left side of your cap? With the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors, I hereby confirm on these candidates the degrees Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Applied Business, Diploma and Certificate with all the rights and the responsibilities attached thereto. Would the graduates please turn and face the audience. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Stotzberger College graduating class. <laughs> 